Hello, Bully Starts here, back again with a theory. The reason I believe Momo getting betrayed by Aizen is so gut-wrenchingly painful is because she was kind of the heart of Goten 13. In the sense that she was, she would make people at ease. Like, you would see her close with Aizen, but you would see her with other people and... And she would always, like, bring them to ease. Like, a sense of comfort. And when she got stabbed and emotionally shanked by, by Aizen, it was that sense of violation. Violation. It was not just a sense of... Like, she was trying to deny it in herself, but... It was that emotional abuse and sense that they've always had a very toxic relationship, Aizen and Momo, that she was being basically emotionally controlled and how do you, and she was trying to face to how to get over it. It is, abuse is not easy to get over. Like, you don't fully get over it. Like, I know in my own personal experience I'm not being bullied and manipulated by somebody I trusted. I've not fully gotten over it. Like, I still feel that anger, that... That... Sense of, why did she do it? But I use it as a motivator. And I still have some hesitance of trust. So I sometimes keep people at a distance, unfortunately, at that. But it also gives me a motivation to see what I believe is wrong in society that deserves and deserves to know better, be better in society. And I actually consider Momo extremely strong for that reason that um, Sheen, uh, Sheenan, and Momo become like. He becomes the captain, the official captain of Section 5. But it seems like in their relationship, and she stays as a lieutenant, but it seems in their relationship, it's more of a base of of mutual like respect in the sense that they both got screwed by the same person. He got screwed by Shannon got screwed by Aizen in the sense that he was forced, tortured, and forced to be a uh, body modification to his, uh, become a Vigard when he was just a regular Shinigami. And he didn't want to be that, but he was forced into it. He was tortured into it and, ba- and left for dead if he didn't match up to the standards of Aizen. But it's worse for Momo because she did not just get physically abused by being stabbed by Aizen. It's that emotional abuse of being being controlled. And it seems in Xian's and and Momo's relationship, it seems very like they're co captains. And no one no one of the Go to thirteen are basically objecting it. They consider it as that is the best thing for Section 5. That is the best for their relationship. And, it, and in the uh, rules of the Go Type 13, it doesn't actually say there can't be multiple captains for one section. It just says it has to be at least one. It doesn't say it has to be multiple cap. It can't be multiple captains. So I consider it that she is um, a co-captain. Um, co-captain to Shin because when you when they see them together, he he jokes, but in like a sarcastic kind of way of saying, "Oh, I was just in the, I was just in, we were just in the neighborhood, and we 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 were just in the neighborhood, so we're gonna help." But then she says, Momo says, "It's like it's not true because it's because we're in the Gote Thirteen. We're here to help, and it's our job. And all he does is basically smile and laugh, um, like in a 
in a happy kind of way that that they are sharing an emotional bond of mutual friendship not of like I consider you better I'm better than you kind of relationship that she had with Aizen they are considered a very positive relationship in that they consider each other on the same level and it also shows her emotional strength of willing to stay in section 5 as as the lieutenant and what I consider a co-captain to Shein and they probably even gave her the option to retire to to go to another section that is uh, away from go 10 13 because of all the trauma she had to deal with and but she probably said no I want because they already trust me they already know how I already know how the team works I already know the base I want to stay here because section 5 deserves better deserves better and I know it can be thank you bye